Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, never strong. Harry, we're ready for our birthday. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when I'm gone, oh, when I'm gone, I'll be right there. Close to the sun. On a nice crisp morning walk super early for me but wanted to come collect these parcels from the post office because i have a virtual event today i need some of the stuff in these boxes for the virtual event and i was like oh it hasn't come then i noticed a little post office slip and i was like i'm gonna run and see if it's down there and it was so i'm gonna get back make myself a nice hot tea or coffee write my to-do list i got some really good news I, I don't think i'm allowed to properly share what's going on at the moment but in january i'm gonna give you a clue I've been working on it since I got back from the post office. I have been working on something that I'm doing with a brand that may or may not be an edit for a brand that I love, that I wear a lot, and it's like really my vibe. Crazy, like never in my life did I think I'd be able to bring out an edit with a brand because especially growing up, you'd only see slimmer body or slimmer framed people being successful in the fashion industry from my perspective anyway. Um, and I'd never see people in that like mid-sized bracket like be successful like the social media and online media industry in general so I feel like this is just like a massive like proud moment for me and I can't wait for you guys to see it I think you're gonna love it like you will know that this brand is like very me like I wear it constantly very chill vibes I feel like I'm giving stuff away yeah it's coming I think it'll be it'll be January or Feb February when we launch but yeah, that's what I've been doing since I got back, but I will show you the parcels in a second. I just need to send off this little mood board that I've made. I'm actually really proud of. You can guess it, guess in the comments below what brand you think I'm releasing an edit with. So I'd pop you down here and show you what I got from the post office. This package is so cute. It's from the brand One For All that do the gift cards. Got a little gift card here. Sent me a £50 gift card that me and Carrie are actually going to be using to buy each other like presents. We're going to do like a fun little gift swap. Your friendship with Carrie gives us joy, and so we want to send you your very own Friendsmas gift from us. Your gift includes a custom illustration of you and Carrie from our acclaimed illustrator, Connor Merriman. And look at this. Me and Carrie sent across a photo, and I never expected it to like come back like this. It's so cute. And then I've popped this quote that I really liked at the top as well, and um, that says, Stay close to people who feel like sunlight. I think that's so sweet i cannot wait to frame this and pop it in my room it's literally so cute but yeah i've also got the 50 pound gift card for you to treat yourself or a friend me and carrie are going to be doing each other's and it says the gift card can be spent at over 55,000 retailers and selected online partners partners so if you're struggling for a last minute christmas gift and you have no idea what to get someone i always think a gift card like this is just so perfect because they can choose to spend it on whatever they like whether it's something that's going to help them within their home if something's broken you know or if they want to treat themselves to like something clothing makeup jewelry i just feel like it's very versatile just just a good little christmas gift if you're struggling and we're giving away two five hundred two five hundred pound one for all gift cards on instagram too head over to their instagram i will link it down below so you can go jump and check it out for yourself and enter i know i want to enter that because that is such a sick giveaway but you might want to know about the giveaways you know get your hands on that 500 pound voucher and then i've also got a little gift from goose and gander the little babes they sent me a cute christmas card a jumper and then look got little like goose cookies i love them i want one. Oh, merry christmas Right, I'm gonna make some pasta if I've got some. Yeah, you don't know if you've got the hard lumps of pasta, like pasta. Yeah. I've got pasta. Yeah, I, sh I feel like I should have some leftover from HelloFresh, yeah. Mm, Sorry, we need to put it closer. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she panicked. My tripod looks like a spider. Extra because I can just put it in oh, a good point. Tupperware and have it like tomorrow or something. Do what? Work? Smart, Smart or not harder. harder. I'm not doing it to cook tomorrow now. Yeah, I'm gonna And bulk. I can work instead. I'm gonna bulk it. 
Molly May who? I was on my vlog about we're gonna, oh no, it was yours, so we're gonna basically try to turn into Molly May. Yeah. And stop sleeping. Yeah. And overworking ourselves. And you may think, yeah, that yeah, sounds really unhealthy. Maybe it is. There's yeah. worse things I could be doing. I could be doing heroin, coke, anything. But I'm just overworking. And instead I'm just having a little less sleep than I need. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You, everyone's going to take a hit somewhere and I'm just going to be in my sleeping pan. And I'm not telling anyone else to do it. Oh no, I'm not encouraging it at all. I think it's going to be awful for us. <laughs> but I don't want to have more than four hours a night. <laughs> Wait till I sleep in it all of the time. I mean, I had six hours. Wait, that is way too much. You need to stop doing that. A shave of the face, a something in the beard. What is that off? Yes, that is. Um, Sweetie Tolly mm. again. A da 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 da. A shave of the beard. A shave of the da, 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 Yeah. Just How's the rest of it? A shave of the neck. A slit of the beard. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> do you think you'll do good? Like, I don't do good game. I quite like doing it together. Yeah, like, see, so like, split the time. I don't know if you have kids. Yeah. I don't know if, like, I don't know many people who, like, stand in the kitchen. Like, I think, like, cute every now and then. But yeah, like, together. Like, one of you's you know, usually, like, fucking normal, doing the washing or something. Like, the kids. Taking the kids out to there. I feel like when you're young, it's kind of different because you're like, it's almost like a date cooking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he might cook. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I think he'll be more like you, so he can What's this? <laughs> surprise! <laughs> surprise! <laughs> surprise! <laughs> surprise! You're cooking. <laughs> and I'll have the shit jobs. You'll be making kids. I have a Christmas because I'll buy a dishwasher instead. Ow. <laughs> Kids sending presents when they're like one, two, or three because they can't remember it. Yeah, there's no point. No. Oh, okay. Just, no, I'm going to wrap up I'm stuff other people have bought. I'm <laughs> deep hopping all the stuff other people bought. <laughs> <laughs> buy a dishwasher. You know people like when you have a baby, they buy them gifts. I'll just like, re-wrap everything. You must get so possible. many gifts. Like you must get... Mm. I don't need to buy them one. For sure. I'm just going to say give them cold hard cash. Like say this child <laughs> is the next Molly Mae prodigy. <laughs> And I'm setting her up a bank account if it was a girl. And I'm going to send the bank account is called Receive. And I'm going to do some investments. <laughs> you can tell we're not ready for kids. We're like so selfish. We're like, I'm getting the dishwasher. Like, I'm not washing my I'm putting the money like, into my account. <laughs> I'm deep upping their presser. God, at least we're self aware. Yeah. That we're not ready. We do have an announcement. We do. I'm expecting. No, at the same time. Oh, we better have, we better have baby at the same time. I think Scott's got some cashing up to do. Yeah. But it definitely wouldn't shock me if I had a child for her. Yeah, 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 for sure. I've got a candle and cocktail making class with Skinny Tan. It's all virtual, which is actually perfect because it means I don't have to go out in this wet weather. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. So I didn't get the chance to make my candle like during the session because it was only like short and they did like a bit on the cocktails and stuff and about the new skinny tan products. So I'm gonna sit and make the, and by sit I mean stand and do the candle now. It's pretty simple. It's literally just me melting the wax over a saucepan and then pouring it in. And then they've got like this little like lolly stick to put the wick in the mix. And so it's like central. You've seen the moon and its darker side I can feel the gravity I'm gonna leave my candle up there to cool, it needs to wait an hour. So I had this package arrive from Benefit and I thought it might be quite a nice like fun Christmas gift idea. So they've sent me this jumper which I've popped on already because I thought it was so cute. But they actually have their Christmas gift sets which they do every single year. At this time they've put them in little cute tin so this one's the holiday cutie beauty my sister always gets me a benefit tin for christmas does she actually oh it's like, a bit cheaper to get it in a tin yeah so i'm at older, I may as well they are Think cute as well even like the tins you can reuse yeah, for stuff yeah. like but like she'll be like getting me a hula or something but like two pounds more to get like the gimme brow with it and i'm like well yeah the gimme brow with it. <laughs> <laughs> love it but um we, me and carrie were just like looking through all of the boxes and i actually really rate this one because it has the hula a gimme brow um, a mini professional and then a full size they're real magnet so I feel like that's like a good all-rounder and then you also get the lim lashes stockings so they've either got a bit bad gal bang or they're real magnet in these and you get like a full size and a mini which is obviously good for like little travel -la 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 -la. this is the season to be jolly -la 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 -la. 
Um, me and Carrie were saying we feel a bit conscious sometimes like sharing PR and stuff, but I feel like this time of year when people are stuck for like Christmas present ideas, not sure what to buy someone, not, haven't really seen or had time to check out what's on the market, it's like quite a good idea to include these in our vlogs and stuff. So for me, like I, I was like obsessed with beauty. There was like a massive phase like when I was my vlogs like that was beauty yeah me too like I, I was like beauty then it changed to beauty and fashion then more lifestyle um, and obviously i still love like all my beauty bits and i have like a routine but i just feel like this is just the perfect gift for any like beauty lover or if there's something in here specifically that you know one of your friends or family members loves e.g carrie loves hula so her sister gets of those honestly the things i do for a hula right me and carrie decided we're going to zz's and i'm gonna be looking like this and i'm gonna be looking like this quite cute really what's this why no oh. it's quite sweet Oh my god, it's set. That's so cute. Okay, we've made it to ZZ and we've got our little complimentary pasta crisps. You get these whilst you're waiting for your food. Me and Carrie are going for a sharing situation. We've gone for like a, just a normal margarita with chicken on top and then the our favourite is the casare casareccia pasta picante casareccia casareccia something like that and we're going to share both because that's our favourite pasta as well so the food is here this is the delicious chicken she looks delicious today she does she looks pretty sexy um, and then we've got our margarita over there so we are on Oxford Street today um, because I have left my Christmas shop into the last minute and I wanted to have a little look around even if it was just for inspo and then I like get them delivered to home I just wanted to have a look around the shops and with Nat who is currently, we just went for a little boot stop over there to get some compied because ready to she's up. wore these new boots. They are stunning, Thank but they're a killer. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> get your toes out, do you? I messaged me on Instagram saying, Can I I'll suck your toes? You. No, oh. I'll pay you, send me pictures of your feet, but in shoes. I was like, I literally said, How much? I emoji. <laughs> yeah. How much are we talking? Fuck me. I'd do it for a tenner. Actually, not even fiver. <laughs> I mean, no, you can see, see my feet on my Insta, do you know what I mean? Well, enough to keep this a secret. So, yeah. I'll play triple figures. <laughs> yeah! That's well good for a feet pick. <laughs> Would you? Shoot Comment it. down below if you'd send someone a feet pick for 100 quid. Give a thumbs up if you want to be paid for feet picks. <laughs> So I'm looking at really I almost got robbed. Right, we're gonna tell you some stories. Let's go sit down on something. But the sexy man saved me. <laughs> Look how cute it is. We're walking down near um oh it's starting to rain near on the street. Is but the fire is so delightful. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. You know when it says bad luck comes in threes? Is that the phrase? Something comes in threes, yeah. like bad stuff. Story number one, we're sat in prep working and this guy comes and sits by us. He starts man, charging his phone. Right. Because he wanted to charge his phone. I thought, get He you, seemed fine you at get first. Your juice. Yeah, so mean? he was basically sat on our table because he was plugging his phone but in. But he couldn't speak English and he kept like grunting at us and we were like, yeah, that's what I thought. We thought he was on. asking, like, is it fine to like charge, like sit here? And we were like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, cool. A few times, I think he was drunk as well. So yeah. I think he was like repeating himself, you know, when you're drunk. Um, so we were like, yeah, that's cool. And then he starts telling us that his wife, he was like, my wife's having sex sex with someone else his wife was sleeping with loads of men apparently yeah from what we gave. and then he was and then he just kept saying jealous jealous and then he kept pointing the phone at me like to make his like trying to make his wife jealous. yeah he was literally facetiming his wife showing nat and like touching her then started yeah, stroking then you and touching you, you wait, we i have a video we were, i have a video we were obviously telling him to stop and like go away like obviously no no what do you want me to stop please stop showing me Fucking no, sir, please. No, sir, I don't understand what you're saying. No, I don't like it. No, don't touch me. Oh my god. Don't touch me. I'm glad you filmed it because yeah. that's like proof. And then I, like, I, it was getting bad. So I like got up and spoke to the prep staff and they were so nice, yeah. weren't they? Mm. They saved they the day. Us. They helped moving our staff and like. We're literally gonna cry. I know. And then Nat was crying. I was shaking. <laughs> 
I didn't realise that like, your body could react so yeah. crazy to stuff like that. Like, I got up trembling. Was, I was uncomfortable, but he was like five minutes. So I was like, that's fine. Like charge, charge your phone and then go. But then he started touching he was us. There for and way he was than five and then, remember, minutes. then he sat on like he he scooed onto the booth. Yeah, he was like moving closer towards yeah. that as well. Which is obviously quite scary. So that was our traumatic experience in prep. And yeah. then we like finally settled a bit, done a bit more work, but not really because I was still like quite struck. Um, and then we left because we, I needed to go collect a present from my nan. I was walking and she was just focused on the street and she walked, like, and there was a homeless man sat on the side of Oxford Street and she walked into his cup of money and she kicked the money across the road. And yeah. we don't mean to laugh, but he started laughing and we were all just laughing. Because then we were like, so oh my bad. god, we're so sorry. We were, so we were running across the street I was, just like, picking, picking up the money. Oh god, it was like how embarrassing is that? So horrible. I'm so And then we kept horrible. walking, and then we found another like homeless woman and she was just sat there on um on like the side of the road and she was like, like I don't was, want your money. Yeah, she was like, I don't I want your money, just she needs just some food. food. So we were like, absolutely, and then we were like, we'll come back because we were gonna walk back that way to the train station anyway. Sorry. Um <laughs> and then so yeah, we were just gonna go super drug first and then walk back that way. So we were like, Yeah, we'll we'll bring you food back and then she started following us. We were like, yeah, sure, we'll get you money. So she she drags us into the shopping centre, into this literal like supermarket down below. Mm -hmm. When I'm like, we just need to go get the prescription first, and then we'll go to the to the shop and we'll get you some food. I thought she wanted hot food. She took us to the supermarket. But she picked up the basket. She had to get, and that's where I knew. I was like, I right, it, interesting. Yeah. And then these sexy and she, men. Yeah, <laughs> these sexy men did save us. Yeah, but she was like picking up like chicken. Yeah, like raw chicken. Raw chicken. And oh well, I was like, like we need girls, to leave. Like, like this is not nice. fair. Like don't let her take advantage of you. Because apparently she did it six times. Especially because it makes it. Makes and she it had hard. a bag. She was not. She didn't even look homeless. Like, like she had all her stuff. Like she had a I handbag. Know. We, were, we were just being nice, and also like it breaks my heart. It is horrible for like actual homeless people yeah. when people like that are doing that. You know. Yeah. And then she started shouting at them. Yeah. So we had to quickly run out. She was out. like screaming at them. She, and then the security was saying that she'd come in several times. Yeah, and I was thinking. people had bought her So you didn't think to tell me that when I came into the shop and she grabbed a basket and yeah. had to stop her. That's our story so now, of the day. I look so rough, like I've got this ratchet spot. It's been semi-productive, like <laughs> I got some stuff done yeah, got before we got of, harassed. Yeah, a little bit of vlog edited. I really want Better those nothing. men to come back. Yeah. <laughs> it's like fell through the letterbox to both of us a Christmas card, so... Oh, it sounds a It's got a I couldn't tell it was her by her writing. <laughs> That's so adorable. Thanks, Kat. Her name is so good to write. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely start to the day. My first Christmas card. Right, so we have just gone for a little stroll. We've just walked to Gloucester Road for a little prep. I've gone for an oat latte. Carrie's gone popcorn hot chocolate. It's been nice to get out and have some fresh air. I feel like I've been cooped up in my room all day. Yeah, we're just going to go back, do some editing, and then we've got an exciting little evening ahead of us in the form of a pajama party. You'll have to wait and see. No. I've currently got Aiden working in my room, so I thought I would come out on the balcony and show you because I started sponsoring a dog. The Dogs Trust was at Social in the City and this little guy, Mikey, look how gorgeous he is. He's a beautiful Cocker Spaniel. They've sent me loads of cute photos of him. There's like a little letter um, and just some information on him. He's actually in West London, which is not too far from me, like the dog's trust in. And yeah, so he's not far from me, but at the moment he's not doing visits, which is sad, but understandable with COVID. This photo of him is literally so cute. And it's actually, it's only two pounds a week to sponsor him. Like two pounds I would spend on what? Like a shitty bag of chocolate but I'm actually sponsoring and looking after the dog. I just think it's just such a nice thing to do. I'll leave a link down below in case anyone else is interested because I never knew it was like two pounds a week. I hadn't really seen much about it to be honest in years. And then I saw them there and I had a chat to the woman and I was like, I love Mikey so much. I want to sponsor him. And then apparently you get these through quite frequently, little updates about them. He doesn't like the rain. He gets a bit scared of the rain and that he's been rehomed twice, but he's been brought back to Dogstro dog's trust both times which is so sad i need to go and do my dressing gown curls because i'm going out this evening like i said which i'll explain a little bit later i need to do my makeup because my skin's broken out a little bit so i am ready for tonight's event it's actually a pajama party tala like pinky satin pajamas i don't think you can really tell in this light so hopefully there'll be better lighting at the place so and um, yeah it's gonna be cozy vibes i think it's like clean kitchen in camden and they do all vegan food like vegan fast food vibes yes yeah, so i'm gonna be traveling on the tube in pajamas which is something new i'm gonna try and cover up i think with my scarf because these are short sleeves as well i've got my arms out and then i'm gonna wear my like big fluffy white coat so that i don't get a catch a cold on the way So we 
we've got our meal. We've got the new burger, uh, Christmas burger, and then these fries. We've got this drink that me and Carrie have just tried, which we really love. We were pleasantly surprised. It's the Winter Cola by Berksy. It's a seltzer. And then we've got a little Montezuma's Royal Mint chocolate. So we've arrived at Killeen after a, quite an intense tube journey. I mean, it was so hot, wasn't it? Fucking hot. That's the biggest tube I've ever done in my life. Yeah. Let me show you so, there. so sweaty. Cheers. Vegan hot chocolate. Cheers that and they're very Christmassy in here. Rosé on the tables in little cans, little crackers. So we are back from the clean kitchen. Christmas burger pajama party and I have now been sat editing my Paris vlog ready to go up tomorrow I'm actually heading off to Germany this weekend for a work trip Aiden is able to come with me which is amazing because I need someone to help me get the content charged my toothbrush ready to go I actually love this thing I've done um a couple of sponsored posts on Instagram with Oral-B I literally love this toothbrush so much and I like hope that people trust me when I give like good recommendations and stuff and things that I share online but yeah, Aiden is obsessed with the toothbrush as well. And I actually need to download the app so I can get the 3D tracking back because it's so cool. Like, literally greets me in the morning. Like, I open the cupboard in the bathroom and this, like, goes, hello, good morning. And you can, like, pick your different options. So you've got daily, clean, sensitive, white and gum care, intense. You can connect it to your phone and it tells you, like, which teeth you're missing when you're, like, brushing your teeth. It has, like, a sensor on it. I bloody love it. So I've charged that all up for the trip because that ran out of battery the other day. And yeah, I've just been sort of like thinking of what I need to bring tomorrow for the trip. I need a travel, ad my travel adapter, which I found after I came back from Paris, which is annoying, but luckily Jack had a spare one. I'm obviously going to have to be way limited than I was in Paris for the other work trip that I did because we went by Eurostar and they're like so lenient with what you can bring. You can bring like two suitcases each and a bag. Um, whereas obviously flying you can just have like cabin a cabin bag but we're not actually going to be there for that long because Aiden's working tomorrow meaning we're going to have to do like a later flight so we're going to get to Germany at like 10 o'clock at night and then just have like one full day on the Saturday and then pretty much a full day on the Sunday and come back in the evening the time that I'm not working i think we're gonna go try and explore the frankfurt christmas markets because it's something i've wanted to do for a while now and just go to different european christmas markets in general so i'm gonna take that off the list on the main saturday day i have only been to germany once with megan to berlin if you have been following me or subscribed to me since then it was like last january january 2020 we went on our voucher mystery holiday and we went to berlin for a couple of days and it was really cool like I loved Berlin so much I would definitely go back there I think the food's amazing the vibe is just so cool I love all the buildings and the architecture and yeah it made me want to go back to Germany again so I'm excited to be going to Frankfurt this time different area and I my granddad's finally out of hospital I don't know if I've said that in the vlog but my granddad's finally out of hospital he's always been there and in there a month i was on the phone to him the other day and he's giving me all these recommendations for wine wine in germany i popped them in my notes for us to do whilst we we're away so happy i'm in a better mood now that i know that my granddad's back safe and with my nan it's been so awful like with the uh, um current climate not being able to go and visit him in hospital for a whole month like when he's um not doing well at all and he's like getting worse like it's been really really hard for like me and my family but yeah I'm happy that he's back at home and they've got like a critical care team and stuff involved so things are looking up a little bit um obviously it's still not great but I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you very much for watching these past couple of days I hope you've been enjoying vlogmas so far I've actually really been enjoying um like filming daily and showing you a little bit more into my life like on a day-to-day -day basis i feel like there's like a complete mixture of emotions and also just really raw chatty moments i hope you've enjoyed them every single comment actually means so much to me at the minute because it just like warms a little place in my heart knowing that someone out there is enjoying these videos that i'm putting out there yeah i hope you're having a great day great week great evening and i will see you very soon for another vlog